Hey, how's it going? And it's gonna be my second video in a series where I take some of your guys' comments from one of my previous videos and help out pro to provide some more information that seems to be more frequently asked. In my latest case review on the Montec Air X, I got a handful of comments asking how to set up the ARGB uh, fan hub for this case. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna show you just how to do that. So first things first, we're gonna make sure that the controller found on the back of the case is plugged in correctly. Out of the box, the case should already have this thing set up, but it never hurts to double check and to make sure everything is plugged in correctly. Taking a look at the actual hub itself, we see that it has six four pin fan inputs at the bottom of the hub. There's six three pin five volt RGB inputs on the left side and the top of the hub. And to the right side, from top to bottom, we have the uh, SATA connector for power, the fan and RGB output that connects the hub to your motherboard, and finally, there is a plug labeled SW that attaches to a button on top of your case uh, so that if you don't have a newer motherboard that can control uh, lighting through software, you can still control the lighting. All right, so after making sure everything's connected properly, first thing we should do is plug in that SATA connector for power. Uh, this should be fairly familiar if you've plugged in a hard drive before us. It uses the uh, same connector for power. Once that is done, we can plug in the 4-pin fan connector and the 3-pin RGB connector uh, to our motherboard. Uh, for the fans, we need to locate a 4-pin fan header on our motherboard, and uh, these are typically labeled as CHA fan or SYS fan. Uh, these will either have a 3-pin or 4-pin uh, header depending on your board, and if your board only has three pin, a 3-pin header, there are adapters to 3-pin to 4-pin, uh, but thankfully my board has one so we won't be needing one in this case. Uh, another note on locating these headers, these should be fairly easy on most motherboards as uh, they will usually have their fan headers and their RGB inputs usually in similar spots, uh, typically around the edges or borders of the board. Uh, but every motherboard is different and if you can't find it, I'd recommend either referring to your manual or just doing a quick Google search for your specific board as these are pretty powerful tools to help you find the information that you need. All right, so once we found an empty header, uh, we're gonna line up that notch on our plug with the notch on the motherboard and just simply plug it in. Uh, this shouldn't require any force, so if it seems difficult, just double check that you have the pins lined up properly uh, and the notch facing the right direction, and it should just plug in with ease. Now, for the RGB headers, uh, there are a couple different types to look out for, uh, but the two most common ones are a 4-pin 12-volt header and a 3-pin 5-volt header. Uh, the ones used with this case is the 3-pin 5-volt type, so just make sure that the motherboard does support that type of connector before plugging it in. Like the fan plug, these headers are usually located around the edges of the board and most commonly located on either the top right or the bottom left of the board. Uh, once we've located a header for our RGB, we want to make sure that it's lined up correctly and try not to force it in. Uh, speaking from experience, these are pretty fragile connectors and I have broken one in the past trying to plug one in uh, in the wrong direction. So just double check that you have everything lined up and it should just plug in with ease. Alright, so the next step here is to install the, your motherboard's RGB software. Uh, this again is going to vary depending on your motherboard as each company tends to have their own proprietary software. Uh, for example, I have an ASRock motherboard, so for me, I'm going to download the ASRock Polychrome software uh, to be able to control the lighting in this case. So, for, for reference, I'll leave a bunch of software links down in the description below uh, for the more popular RGB softwares, but once again, a quick Google search with your make and model of your board should provide you or should point you in the right direction for your motherboard's specific uh, RGB software. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you, follow, if you have everything plugged in correctly and you've downloaded the correct software for your motherboard, you should be able to control the RGB lighting now through Windows, and every much, everything pretty much should be good to go. Some common mistakes if the RGB lighting still isn't working is, once again, just double check your connectors as something could be loose and, you know, just re or even reseating a, connect a plug could make the difference from it working or not working. But with that said, I think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, if you found the video useful, feel, uh, please feel free to give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see some more tech-related videos. And hey, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you have a nice day. Take care now. Bye.